So part of what this unit is going to be is looking at gesture or how do you communicate some general idea. Um, especially we want to try to get away from fingerspelling because there are other ways of doing it that are just that are quicker and more clear. Um, and the way they're going to go about doing this in the book is keys. Going to be a um, one big video segment where one person goes through their keys, and then what we would do is we would break up into groups, and everybody would go through their keys and explain a couple of the keys and what they're for. Um, the goal is to uh, communicate using signs, classifiers like acting it out, showing, um, describing what you're talking about, or gestures, if that works. The goal is to avoid fingerspelling at all costs, because you can, you're now at the point where you can start doing it without having to rely on English and fingerspelling, because that gets really boring and everybody hates fingerspelling. I think everybody probably can raise their hand and say they already hate fingerspelling, and it's only been one semester. Um, so what we would do is everybody would go around, I think we usually would divide into groups, but if you can do that on your own, take a look at your ring of keys. Um, and the vocab needed key, like you've put a key in the lock and you twist it. And then what for? Um, we know what, but we're going to assign it a little bit different. We're going to actually skip the what, and we're just going to do a sign for for, which is like you're touching your temple and then brushing it out, for. We'd sign it twice, for, for. If you've taken uh, any of the romance languages, uh, Spanish was what I took in high school, and we would, uh, there's the question, por qué, right, um, which is why. It literally means for what, por qué. Uh, so that's a good way of looking at the for for in ASL. It's like, what is the purpose? For what? Um, it's comparable to why, um, and oftentimes we will use for for and why almost interchangeably. Um, why did you do that? For what purpose did you do that? As opposed to why are you sad, which is a why. Um, so hopefully that makes a little bit of sense. As we get to use it, it will make more sense. But four, four, key, four, four, key, four, four, either one. It could be key, four, four, or four, four, key. Okay. And that, or that, is also a handy one in this situation. That one, four, four. Maybe describe it, yellow, the silver, the big one, the small one, whatever. Okay. So the big video story is David's keys. So to get you kind of warmed up, I'm going to show you mine. Now, Time for jealous, jealous. Okay. Like, ooh, if you still lost some powers.
those are my keys. So if you go back and watch this, hopefully that may all make sense. Um, I didn't write down a transcript. <laughs> um, but if you watch David's keys, this next story, he will talk about uh, a set of different sets of keys. Some he has more than one key for something. Um, so uh, it really, it's very, it's very well signed. It's very clear and it's at a perfect pace for where you should be. So here's the full story. I also broke it up into little chapters, sets, uh, the sets of keys. Um, the first one is Iva telling him where she found the keys. They're at their little conversation. And then she asks, what are they for? And he explains the first set, then the second set, the third set, the fourth set, fifth set, the sixth set, seventh set, and then asks her about her keys. So if uh, here are the questions again, I just jotted them down afterwards so you could review. And then of course I put the answers in there. So we've got key and four, four. Those are the two vocab. And then I include really the only video is David's keys, but that's the whole thing. I figured I'd keep with the same, um, uh, the same format for all of these. So that's 413. As again, pretty quick and dirty little 